Hello once again viewers and welcome to my second video for introduction to gaming in Linux with Playonix. And the first one it was wine, simple things like installing it, how to update it, all that sort of stuff, wine config, whatever. And for the second one I thought I'll do play on Linux, which is which uses wine as well. The good thing about play on Linux it's got no it's got a GUI to it, so it's nice and easy to use a game, run them, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so first of all, to install it you can just go to your Ubuntu Software Center and type in Play on Linux. Or you can just go to their website, like to download, and when you go on the download page, it's got all the distributions here. Nice and easy. So if you go to Ubuntu, just get your dev, your dev file, or you can add the repository by typing these commands into your terminal and Ubuntu forums is not coming up Ubuntu s software center sorry ok nice and easy to install really there you go if you go play on Linux obviously it's there but that usually is an older version for some reason it's not updated next is basically it running hello nice simple install run Run is obviously run it, install, brings you here to all the wine prefixes. Usually it's games for us, and they've got a vast uh, variety of games here, quite a lot actually. Be aware, some of them do not work. For example, I've got a game here, Race Driver Grid, does not work, which is a shame really. But it's nice and easy. Usually, I say if I've installed it in Play on Linux, if I say just install through a Play on Linux uh, wine prefix. Then it should, you know, get this, install it through that, it's nice and easy. So for example, Portal 2 is on here, there you go, Portal 2. And that's a video I made, uploaded on Wednesday. Okay, nice and easy. Alright, just go apply then, it should do all the things which are required. So if it requires something from like Wine Tricks, it should install it. So next is manually installing things. So manual in installation. Next, and you can install a wine prefix. Just go test. And the beauty of this is assigning a wine version to a program. So I've got a few free here. So, for example, I've got Crisis the other day. This I suggested in the forums, I'll show you in a minute. And it doesn't work for me at the moment, but nice and easy, just forward and it, and it should ask you for your setup thing. Uh, then you find your exe, click set up exe, starts installing. Okay, so that, that's really good for games that worked on older versions of Wine and don't work on newer versions of Wine. There's a lot of games which actually do that. It removes, obviously, remove the bugger. So if you don't want it configure, so it's like configure Wine, reg edit, Kill all prefix processes, update wine prefix, so if you want to maybe get, give a different version of wine to it. Okay, so configure wine is just obviously configure wine. Like I showed you on the wine tutorial, it's like audio, add them all in there. Yeah, usually I go emulation if I'm having sound problems or OSS. I just go apply, okay. Change icon, obviously. Well, it does simulate Windows reboot. So if a game needs rebooting after installation, I don't think I have that plugin at the moment. I don't know I do. No. Uh, so let's just go race driver grid, and it's just like mouse warp override. So if your game like it locks in place, then you can use that. It works. Right, that's quite cool. I didn't know I had that plugin. Oh yeah, I do. You can get plugins. Capture, I've never tried that yet. It's like fraps, like it says there. So there's quite a few which you can get off here. Downloads, so it should be in downloads here. Plugins there. Got all these plugins, it should say what they do. No, it isn't, which is a bit of a poo. Benchmarks, I can't be bothered explaining all of them. Offline play on Linux, yep. Okay, wine, I've got all these. These are all versions of wine which I'll show you now, you can just easily go in here, cancel that 
So, tools, manage wine versions. This is the beauty of play on Linux. Install any of the older versions of wine. So, look, some are actually made for some certain games. So, League of Legends, uh, Kane and Lynch. Mouse, I'm not too sure what that's about. Instead of local League of Legends, okay. So I've installed these three, so the Crisis version, because I wanted to try and get Crisis working, sh and I would have made a video on installing it and stuff, but it never worked. My application, so if I go on here, I can just give it a different version. As you can see, this should have, yep, Crisis. Okay. Plugins, showing you, this is just simple configuration, so Firefox, I'll be mine. Internet, environment. These are the default line versions which you usually use. Desktop directory, so you directly see your desktop. So if you want to make an icon for your desktop or install, it should just go on there. Play the Linux menu to your panel. Don't know what that is. System, so 3D test, for example. It runs slow, but my computer's good enough. All the plugins so you can remove and stuff. Pressure repository so that will get updates, yeah, downloading updates for the installation things. Okay, the latest news on their website shows you, you know, what they've done with PlayOnix lately, how to contact team, like to help with it, like adding uh, poll files which like install things on PlayOnix forums, which I suggested something on here, so general discussion, uh, there you go, crisis, like. Because I want, I couldn't install patches online. I didn't know what to do and didn't really want to do it. So I suggested it and seeing someone responded to it, which is quite cool. Okay, so that's the basics of Play on Linux. If you have any questions, don't you know hold back and don't ask them. Just ask away. You know, if I know what to reply, I'll tell you. If I don't, I'll, I'll tell you as well. <laughs> So thank you for watching, look forward to the next one which is Game Tree Linux, which is the resurrection of Kadiga. So thank you for watching, see you later.